In 2018, we left all we had ever known behind in Florida to make our way to Alaska in an attempt to drive our truck camper from Alaska to Argentina. We made it to the top of the world and turned south only to confront one challenge after another. But along the way, we fell in love with the road and realized that our call to wander would need an RV with a little more space. So we sold our truck camper and purchased a 22-year-old Class C motorhome that needed just a little bit of TLC. This is the story of how we spent six months remodeling our new home on the road. Hey, hey, hey. Today is New Year's Eve, which is an exciting day for Lindsay and I because it's our anniversary. This marks seven years. I think, how does that work? We're going into our seventh year or we're finished or so? I don't know. Um, but it's number seven for us. So we are going to make this a light work day. But we don't get off the hook even on our anniversary because we got ourselves into all of this mess, literal mess. So today's gonna be a divide and conquer day for us. Lindsay's gonna be working on the doors again outside. She's got a really cool design she's gonna fabricate. She's gonna do all the wood cutting and gluing and nailing and um, all the stuff that's going on with that. And while Lindsay's working on getting the doors all decorated, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be working on our laundry chute, which is gonna go from our bedroom into the underside of our camper. So this is what the outside bin is. And then underneath here, pretty simple. There's a couple of these pieces of plywood that are covered in cloth. There's four screws or three screws to pull each one of these out. And so that's what I'm gonna do, and I'll show you the space as I open it up. And that opens up to our uh, brake lights. And then on the other side, it opens up to where the speaker was goes into our bedroom. And then the ceiling here is just plywood. So I'm going to take my oscillating tool and I'm going to go and cut a hole in the top and create a door that we can raise and lower on a hinge. And I'm going to create a platform through here goes across so like this and we're going to be able to have our laundry bag right here so we'll be able to lift up the bin throw laundry in and not have to deal with it because who likes to deal with dirty laundry not me and definitely not Lindsay I've got these two wooden braces and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this platform, hopefully it'll fit across the top. And now we have a false floor, so our laundry will go, our laundry will now go in this space right here. Once I cut the hole up here, and that worked out pretty nice. We still have storage down below and an old speaker we don't know what to do with yet. That was fun. Finally punched a hole in our little storage area. Straight on down to the outside. And 
Now to figure out what to do next. So now the laundry chute is done. It's squeaky, so I gotta move a couple screws around. But it is done, and um, we did this because there's still some more painting to be done. So we're gonna have to paint around here. I wanted to do that before we got the flooring. I'm trying to get all of the painting done before we start doing the flooring, and the flooring is the next big project. So now, hopefully Lindsay will come in here and paint all this stuff up, and then I can come in and be doing the flooring. But now we've got a place to stick our dirty clothes, which is on my side of the bed, so hopefully it doesn't stink. I'm going to come back inside and put together the bathroom and the um, bedroom, and then I think I'm going to get into the flooring a little bit. Not really sure, but I want to at least play around with it a little bit. only have a couple hours, so I know I can put the bedroom back together with the cabinets and the drawers. I know that I can put the um, uh, bathroom back together. So I'm going to have some extra time on my hands, so maybe I'll go outside and help Lindsay, or I will go ahead and break out some of the flooring and start to see how it looks. As you can see, we have a pretty wide open floor right now. I'm going to go ahead and get started with the day. Well, I got the bedroom all put together. Just notice I got to take tape off the windows, plastic off the windows, and then this bedroom will be done until Lindsay gets the doors done. It's coming along. It's getting exciting. 